What's up, YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for stopping by today. Today's video is a video of some rubs that I like that I use on pork. I asked you guys, is this something you want to see? You all said yes. So I'm going to bring this video to you all. Now, I've got a video coming of rubs that I like to use on pork. I'll have a separate video of rubs I like to use on chicken and a video of rubs I like to use on beef. Then I'll have a separate video or another video showing <clears throat> rubs that have uh, a line of products more than, than, than just one that I have in my arsenal, in my home. Behind me here is my rub, one of my uh, rub cabinets. Uh, so I'll show you some of that. And then um, I'll do a other video showing rubs that I think you need to have in your home that are just everyday rubs. These are rubs that uh, I use constantly at home. Anyway, I got a whole line of videos coming out. Today's about pork rubs. Now keep in mind, there are a lot of rubs that I'm leaving out today. And that's because some of these rubs are gonna be included in some of those other videos. Some of these rubs are rubs that are, uh, rubs that can be used on beef or chicken. So, or uh, 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 pork or chicken or pork or beef, you know, they're, they're great on multiple different meats. So I'm gonna include those in other videos. So if you see a rub here, <clears throat> uh, or if you don't see a rub here rather, it does not mean it's not a rub that I uh, don't use, that I don't like. It just means that it'll be included in another video. Now, the rubs that I'm showing here, these are not, I'm gonna show you five rubs. Uh, I'm not classifying these as my top five favorite pork rubs. These are simply rubs that I use often. Some of them in competitions some around the house, when I'm cooking for customers. These are rubs that I enjoy using, so I just wanna share them to you. Again, this does not mean that these are my absolute top five favorite rubs. So just kinda of keep that in mind. All right, so the first rub I'm gonna bring you is this Cimarron Docks Sweet Rib Rub here. This is a rub that is great on are, are uh, great for around the house when I'm cooking for customers. Uh, I'll use it sometimes, uh, but it's really good for competitions also. But this is a rub. It's a nice, sweet rub. Listen, I think um, if you're going to use it on anything, definitely use it on pork. Now, I have used it on chicken also. Works great for that. But um, this is one that I try to make sure I always keep in stock. So this bottle's almost a brand new bottle. So this is one that I use often. <clears throat> and I will say, um, and I don't have a problem saying this, but this is one that I will use in competitions uh, in case you're wondering. The next rub that I really, really enjoy that I highly, highly recommend is a sweet and savory from Blues Hog. This rub is excellent. Um, I mainly use it in competitions just because um, I like to save it for that. But if I want a good sweet rub or a good sweet rib or pork, uh, pork butt, some pulled pork, you know, for me and the missus just around the house, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and use some of this and treat myself uh, just some really, really good pork because this stuff is excellent. You can see I'm running low. Um, so I need to get some more. Now, <clears throat> uh, again, this is one that I will use in competitions. It's a, uh, it's a rub that I think is great in competitions or for around the house. And, uh, let's just say it may or may not have, uh, helped win Oh, you can't see it over there, but that, um, is it seventh or eighth, eighth place rib call at the American Royal. So highly, highly recommend it. Another rub that I think is a great rub that I 
use often <clears throat> that's great in competitions or around the house is this hog waller. This rub is excellent on pork. This is, uh, for a long time, was one of my absolute favorite um, rubs for pork. This stuff, man, if you haven't tried it, highly, highly recommend it. Now, <clears throat> before I continue, I just want to say all the products that you see me bring to you in these videos. Now, one single company has asked me to make a video, including the rubs in my video. I've never received one single penny from any company for recommending their rubs. I, uh, I bring them to you because one, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy them, whether it's the pork rubs, the chicken rubs, the beef rubs, uh, anything that really you see me bring you, I bring it to you to share that with you because one, I enjoy it. Two, uh, I stand behind them. I think they're really, really good. And I just want to bring you guys uh, some, maybe something that you haven't seen before. Um, I'm sure a lot of these you have or a lot of the uh, videos <clears throat> or products that you see in future videos are, are probably stuff that you've seen before. But there might be something that you haven't seen that uh, I think you would uh, like to try. I would also leave a link to all the websites where you can find these products down in the description. Just hit the show more. Again, um, I don't receive a single penny for recommending anything that you see me bring to you. Another rub that I really, really like that <clears throat> when I'm cooking for customers and that this is actually going to be the next two rubs when I'm cooking for customers. I love this Smiling Swine barbecue rib rub. Absolutely awesome. Really, really enjoy it. <clears throat> and I tell you what, um, when I'm making ribs for customers, uh, and this is one of the rubs I use, it's actually, um, uh, I'll, I'll kind of go back and forth depending on, you know, if I'm low on a bottle between this one and the next one that, that you're gonna see that, that I'll use mainly for cooking with customers. Uh, not that they can't be using competitions, but, uh, you know, competitions, customers or, or backyard cooks, just two completely different things. I'm not going to get into all that. But um, so these next two products or these next two rubs, this one and the next one are ones that I, I enjoy using um, when I'm cooking for customers, but does not mean that they aren't competition worthy. So the Smiling Swine rib rub, really, really good stuff, man. It's the, the, the granule, <clears throat> excuse me, the granules on this are uh, a, a little thicker, which I, I kind of like. I think you get more pop from larger granules, but it's excellent. Again, links below to everything. The last product that I'm going to bring to you is this. Now, if you guys uh, follow me for any amount of time, you know I love the Heaven Made products, uh, line of products. Their Texas Best Rib Rub is one of my favorites. This stuff is excellent on pork. These two, <clears throat> again, when I'm cooking for customers, I love using this because um, my customers like it. So uh, if they enjoy it, then I'm gonna keep using it because they keep coming back. So <clears throat> these are, now, these two are rubs that I use more at home, again, not so much in competitions. Um, but, the base that Heaven Made Products uses, or the, pro uh, I don't know if you want to call it the recipe or how you want to word it, but, <clears throat> excuse me, the base that goes into these rubs, um, man, it's, uh, of course, you know, they're not going to tell me what it is, but it's some good stuff, man. Highly, highly, highly recommend the Texas Best Rib Rub. Now, all these rubs are very similar as far as, like if you're wondering, you know, is one salty, is one spicy, is one sweeter? None of these are gonna provide you with heat. Uh, but they're all, all five of them are, are, are gonna give you, uh, they're more on the sweeter side with a little bit of saltiness to them. Um, so if you're looking for something that has more heat, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, 
you may find that in another product that, that I show in, in a, a, another video or in a different rub that, that you have, but uh, none of these in themselves are gonna, are gonna provide that heat you're looking for. So if you're looking for something with some heat to combine, you know, a, a, a sweet with a little bit of heat, you're probably gonna wanna use, you know, two different rubs combined on your ribs or on your pork butt um, or whatever pork you're making, pork loin, pork chops, whatever. So again, these, the Texas Best Rib Rub from Heaven Made Products. The Smiling Swine Rib Rub. Suckle Busters, love this stuff, man. Hog Waller. Blues Hog, sweet and savory. Absolutely awesome. And the Cimarron Docks <clears throat> Sweet Rib Rub. These are five rubs that I like to use uh, at home and some of them in competitions. When I'm cooking personally for myself, uh, or me and the missus, these are some of my, my go-tos here. Um, just because I, you know, I always cook for other people. So when I cook for myself, I want to make sure that I give myself a treat. Any one of these rubs would do that for you. Again, a link will be, uh, our links will be below to the websites, our Facebook pages, anywhere that you can uh, find these products. Now, I had someone recently ask me if, uh, these companies can ship to Australia. I don't know. I don't know where they can or cannot ship to. This is going to be something that you'll just have to ask the company about. <clears throat> if you live in an uh, overseas or somewhere else, uh, if, if you're in the, in the U.S., I'm sure any one of these companies can ship to you. So anyway, these, again, uh, if you did not see a rib rub, because I use a lot of them, uh, it does not mean that I don't enjoy it. I just didn't want to sit here and bring you 10, 15 different rubs in one video. I just wanted to pick five that I think you guys can start with if, if you're looking for something. And uh, if, if you haven't, like I said, some of these you may not have even seen before. So I just wanted to pick a few, bring that to you, uh, share that with you. So... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Again, some of these rubs you're going to see in future videos are multi-use rubs. They can they, they go great on pork and chicken or all three meats or everything. I mean, so it, it, again, it does not mean that you won't see them in future videos. Anyway, links below. Have any questions, leave a comment. I hope you guys found this useful. I will see you on the next one. Take care.